Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, I just got in from work, and I was planning on giving you an update uh, in relation to the situation with the Kennett Middle School anyway, and bring forward um, one of several videos to come uh, with testimony from kids that go here. Uh, I planned on doing it a little later, because I have a live show to get ready for, but when I checked my inbox of Facebook, I had to bring this to your attention right away. Um, this is my post from yesterday, which says this school has become an institution of lies and is an unsafe environment for some children. This is not a baseless accusation, and I encourage anyone who feels uh, the district violated their or their children's rights to contact me. One video is available documenting a blatant lie in relation to vaccines and the law. I hold audio proof of Kevin Richard lying to me in a video is now processing that one shows the school violated their own policy and a child was attacked because of it and two staff are unwilling to deal with situations unless a parent waives their rights. And those are facts. You saw that video yesterday. It's in the playlist as well. I'll link you to that below if you, if you don't have the playlist link. Um, I give them my email, my phone, as I always do. You guys here on YouTube, um, you know, I think I've earned a lot of credibility with you. I mean, you know, up over... 900,000 views in the two years that I've been here with you, roughly, um, and I won't focus on those stats, but just, anyhow, um, so, some responses from A. Crosby Kennett Middle School, and uh, we'll start down here, 33 minutes ago, you do realize this is an unofficial page, okay, uh, point taken, it was made by the students who look, uh, who like the school and like being there, okay, point taken, Great. We received that information. We, we've noted it. Uh, and now I haven't responded until now because I just got in. And again, before this is removed, I want to show you immediately um, the attitude of the students and, and what, well, okay, these students love being there. They've benefited from the program. Keep that in mind. And they're mad at me for bringing up the topics that affected my family and I know from other conversations affect many families here in the Conway area. Now, third comment from them, and, and again, this is unprovoked. I haven't responded yet, folks. These posts were from yesterday. Uh, you can check the time. Yesterday, you see? Yesterday. This was three minutes ago, okay? So this is an unprovoked attack right here. And by the way, this page is mostly for the kids of the middle school who really don't care about some corruption. Okay, the students don't care about corruption. The mainstream kid that goes out of his way to put up a Facebook account being taught at the uh, Kenneth Crosby Middle School doesn't care about some corruption. Some corruption is okay. This bothers me. Make note of that. Make note of all the facts, because that's all I'm here for. Nobody, I don't want anybody to even try to misconstrue this as a personal attack on anybody, because it is not. It's an injustice in my community, and I damn well will stop it. Uh, that's my point of view. So please go back to the Westboro Baptist Church. You are a slanderous, racist young person that you came from. Uh, and please stop trying to ruin something that corrects kids from around the county and makes more lifelong friendships than a homeschooling education. Should I link everybody now to... Um, the SAU-9 reports on the website uh, that show that the school is, um, uh, they're in the third year, I believe, maybe fourth year of a plan to rectify the fact that they are below state standard in reading and math. Should I link you to that? Or if you'd like to go to SAU-9.org, young student, you can go find that information out for yourself. In your treatment of somebody who is trying to defend his son and put forth, uh, you know, some justice. Again, link to this video. As soon as I'm done talking, I'm going to upload this and the video that I took of the interview of one student. One student of many, um, from what I, I, until they show up, I can't, th these are our children. Um, but I, I have uh, heard that, that, that many others are going to take part. And I've already, in 48 hours, talked to uh, six different people who the same uh, kind of scenarios or ha have happened to in the past. And remember, I am a local. I was born here in 1970. Uh, Crosby Kennett School was the junior and senior high school, and I went there. And this, this similar, similar things happened then. 
Okay, I have 40, uh, what, whatever, how many of years I was there in the 80s. Let's put it that way. Um, so, that's that. But we do see the effect of the environment, at the very least, on at least this one student. That they are out of line, they are foul, they are racist. Okay? Um, and young person, one other note, since we like to deal in facts, you mentioned homeschooling. The fact of the matter is, is that homeschooled kids test out higher than the national average 85% of the time. There's another fact you weren't taught at Crosby Middle School, uh, Kennett Middle School, evidently. And folks, in today's headlines, and I'm going to try to link you to this, and this should disturb you as well, and I hope people will get behind me and act on this, Mr. Kevin Richard, the principal at the middle school, in the headlines today is being nominated for the assistant superintendent and I have mixed feelings about this because I don't think he deserves it under uh, the situation of allowing uh, bullying and the other things uh, that are, that will come out um, and again not baseless accusations don't anybody please twist this uh, to be personal it is not um, I, I don't think that that that's reasonable and I and I and so we're gonna try to do something about that as well uh, but anyhow, um, homeschoolers are, in general, uh, better taught, okay, um, youngster. And, um, well, anyway, folks, again, I'm going to uh, join together the video that I sh just shot a little while ago. And parents that see this in the Conway area, please get behind me on this. Um, I have heard the stories. I walk among you every day. I work among you. I, I know what's going on with your kids. Um heard from a parent yesterday in relation to the lie about the vaccines uh, at the middle school that the Head Start is doing, did the same thing to her. And uh, after I had a conversation with her yesterday, she was quite scared because uh, some of the things we talked about she's seeing her child do, and that's shortly after being vaccinated. So uh, more on that probably in the near future. But anyway, to everybody that uh, has given their support, mirrored the video or from yesterday and all that stuff, and please, parents, reach out to me, even if you need to remain anonymous for whatever reason. If I can just hear your story and make notes um, that won't identify you, that's fine. But I need um, my YouTubers I have a lot of credibility with. The Internet world I have uh, a lot of credibility with. The locals here don't really know me at, in the aspect of an activist because when I left here, I was just learning how to tweet. And that was about four years ago, five years ago. Okay, so, um, yeah, but, you know, if they really knew me, they could have expected me. So, anyway, much love, many thanks, and I will see you soon.